This video will provide an introduction to Yaskawa's DriveWorks EZ version 10 software. This includes an overview of DriveWorks EZ 10 program itself, how to enable DriveWorks EZ on a drive, parameters associated with DriveWorks EZ, the purpose of the ID number entered during installation, and the available connection types. Before we get to the how of DriveWorks EZ 10, let's discuss the why. What exactly are the benefits of DriveWorks EZ 10 and what can it do? DriveWorks EZ is a drag and drop function block based software tool which will allow you to create custom numerical and logical functions within a current Yaskawa variable frequency drive. If you have an application which requires more functionality than the standard drive parameters can provide, then DriveWorks EZ is the software tool for you. Here is an application example which may clarify how DriveWorks EZ can be utilized and also show how simple it is to use. Let's say we have a drive on a machine. The machine has a run switch and an interlock switch. Only when both switches are closed will the drive run forward. The machine's control panel also has a third switch, an override. When this switch is active, the drive will run forward despite the position of the other two switches. For this, we can drag three digital inputs onto our blank page. I will name DI1 Run, DI2 Interlock, and DI3 Override, so the program is easier to follow. The Run and Interlock inputs both must be true for the drive to run forward, therefore we'll use an AND block. The output of the AND block will be connected to an OR block. Our Override input will connect to the other input of the OR block. The output of the OR block gets connected to the forward command block. Now, you will start to see what we are building here. If the run and interlock are both closed, or the override is closed, then the drive will run forward. Let's move on to the frequency reference. For this application, the machine has an analog input, so we can simply drag, let's say, the AI1 block onto the page. There's also a need to sometimes bump up the speed of the drive with the keypad. The user would like a value entered via the keypad to add to the existing analog input value. With DriveWorks EZ, this can be accomplished with ease. Drag a keypad input block onto the page. Grab an add block and connect the analog input and the keypad block both to the add block. The output of the add block will be connected to the frequency command block. Label the blocks to make future reference of the program easier. Once you have a program like this created, you simply compile the program, write it to the drive, and enable DriveWorks EZ. We will dive more into how this is accomplished later. There are two versions of DriveWorks EZ software, Standard and Pro. The two versions work identically. You can check which version you have by opening the DriveWorks EZ program and clicking on the gear icon. Below the word DriveWorks EZ, it will either be blank if it is the standard version, or say professional if it is the pro version. Unfortunately, you can have only one version or the other installed at any time. The difference between standard and pro is how many function blocks are available and how many connections are allowed in a DriveWorks EZ program. For users with simpler customization needs, the 25 connections allowed by DriveWorks EZ 10 Standard Edition will probably be enough. We will start out by using the standard version, which you should have installed after watching the first video in this series. As we start getting into more complex applications, it is necessary to upgrade to the Pro version, primarily due to the limited number of connections available in the standard version. The number of connections allowed by DriveWorks EZ Pro is dependent on the model of Yaskawa Drive you are using, and can be looked up on Yaskawa's website under Software Tools. If your end goal is DriveWorks EZ Pro, you will need to contact your local sales rep or distributor. They will need to approve you and they can also help guide you in the certification process. This page of Yaskawa.com can help you find who your rep is if you are unsure. Remember, DriveWorks EZ firmware is available as standard in most industrial Yaskawa drives. Since DriveWorks EZ is built into these drives, you need to enable the DriveWorks EZ functionality in the drive. Parameter A1-07 is how this is done. By default, A107 is equal to zero, disabled, meaning there could be a DriveWorks EZ program loaded into the drive, but it is not active since it is, well, disabled. You can enable DriveWorks EZ by setting this to one. 
You also have the ability to enable DriveWorks Easy on the fly by putting this at a setting of 2 and then programming a digital input of the drive to 9F, which will toggle DriveWorks Easy functionality on and off. However, there is no need to remember to set parameter A107 beforehand. When you write your DriveWorks Easy program to the drive, you will receive a prompt asking you if you would like to enable DriveWorks Easy on the connected drive. Click Yes, and it will set A107 for you. While we are on the topic of parameters, the Q parameters in the drive are reserved for DriveWorks EZ. When you have a DriveWorks EZ program written to a drive, you will see the Modify Parameters menu will list Q parameters that are no longer at their factory default. A standard two-wire or three-wire initialization will clear out your Q parameters, so be careful before reinitializing the drive, as it will most likely result in an improper DriveWorks EZ program operation. When DriveWorks EZ was installed, you had to enter your unique ID number provided in the email from Yaskawa. This is because any program which you create with DriveWorks EZ is considered intellectual property. DriveWorks EZ will only let you open a project file which was created with the same ID which is stored on your computer. Recently, DriveWorks EZ has added the ability to add a secondary user with a different ID to any DriveWorks EZ program. You can verify the ID you have by looking at the primary user number under the Settings menu. There are a number of ways in which you can connect your computer to the drive using DriveWorks EZ. The choices are listed under Connection Settings. Most Yaskawa drives have a built-in USB port, which makes the serial USB the preferred connection setting. DriveWorks EZ can also connect to a drive via network connection if the drive has one of the available Ethernet option cards installed. We will be using the USB connection for the rest of this training series. Both RS-232 and RS-45 serial connections can be used to connect the PC and VFD. Both serial types will probably require a serial to USB adapter. Follow along in the next video to learn basic navigation and general use of DriveWorks EZ 10 software by creating a simple program.